Hello, this is Crypto Neptune, and in this video, we're going to talk about the new utility that the DripX team has dropped as they continue to bring extra utility to the protocol and do whatever it takes to make the protocol sustainable. Remember, nothing I say is financial advice. Use risk capital only. Thank you to, to those who continue to support the channel. It definitely means a lot. And looking at this here, it basically states new utility update from DripX. We're thrilled to introduce our custom swap as the home page of our UI. And then it goes on to say here the swap, a layer two on top of PancakeSwap, buys and burns DripX with a small 0.5% fee on every exchange. So, you know, this is big time to have, you know, the swap here and kind of thinking of a way to bring extra utility to the protocol. So each time you use this swap and swap whatever assets you need to swap, there's a fee in which it helps buys and burn DripX. So this is, this is huge. And then it says here, over time, this will add a nice deflationary aspect to the DripX token, benefiting our community and ecosystem. Also, under the More tab of our website, you'll find a handy lookup feature. This allows you to view stats on any miner using its D-Rank ID number, complementing potential trading opportunities on Tofu NFT. So nice to be able to kind of, if you're going to buy a miner, you want to look into the details of the miner. So I like that. And then it looks like you can label your miners now. So that's a cool feature too. So going over here, and if you just click DripX here at the top, yep, it takes you over to the swap. And, you know, clicking here, you have a variety of different assets. You have DAI, USDT, USDC, and, you know, wrap drip, OG drip. So it's nice to be able to swap between, you know, these different pairs and, you know, do what you need to do as far as easy use. But again, this is a this is a game changer. So I like what the team has done. And in here, if you click the gear, you can set the slippage if you need to set the slippage. And then, you know, for miners, like as they mentioned with the miners, you know, you can name your miners if you want to do that. You know, that's kind of how I'm sitting right now. ROI on both. Getting a little thin on the 60 day period, but my hope is again, over time, that number will tick back up. And let's look at the lookup. You know, you can put in whatever number you want, looking up the different miners. You know, this. Oh, some, so this was like an eight day miner for 100 power, you know, so you can look at like some of the details in that. And then it looks like this one was claimed already. But again, with these miners, remember longer is better. So the longer you can extend the life of it, the better. And also remember you have Viper now, so you can use the Viper to Let's say you have a 180 day miner right at that 51% mark. You can claim that mark that that miner for a small fee and then, you know, do what you need to do with the, the drip X, whether you want to stake, whether you want to sell a little bit, that's totally up to you, your call. And the buy and burn, let's take a look at it. The buy and burn is sitting at 1.3 million. And it's burnt 1.1 million in drip X. And the trigger cap has been upped. It was at 0 0.03 BNB. Now it's at 0.4 BNB. So they moved that back up, which is nice to see. Looking at the vault real quick. Again, this is something that the team added a, week, a few weeks back. But this external rev revenue is huge because, like I mentioned before, if ink really pops off on post chain and it's it's pretty pretty volatile it moves a lot so if it 
you know, if it goes to 20, 25 bucks, or if it shoots back up to its all-time high of 80 bucks, then we're looking at a whole different ball game of external revenue coming back in and chewing up those miners. You know, if you look here real quick, as you can see, you know, there's some space available on some of the further out dates. But then if you, you know, once you go further and further down, you know that, that the space is tightening there. You know, that's over the cap, over the cap, over the cap, close, over the cap. Yep, that's over the daily, the DripX daily cap. You know, some of these are like being bought up and maxed out already. You know, kind of the further you extend out there. So, shouts out to, again, you know, Matt and Eric. Shouts out to the DripX community, you know, coming in here and buying this up. And then real quick, let's look over here at... The pricing looks like we're up 10% over the last 24 hours. So nice to see a little green there on the, you know, the price action of drip X. And it looks like, you know, you know, real quick, you know, people are just kind of just buying the bottom a little bit, you know, with drip X, just buying the bottom and could be potentially Maybe they're swing trading. Maybe they're just buying some of that up to stake. Which is, you know, not a bad thing also to get some of that. Get some of those BNB rewards. So <clears throat> definitely not mad at that. So for me in this video, that is it. The new utility for... For Drip X, you know, seeing a little bit of green there, but nice to see that that huge announcement and that new utility added to the Drip X ecosystem. I want to thank everybody for listening and thanks for stopping by.